All right, good morning. Today we have something really exciting on the agenda. We need to do van maintenance. Yes, that's right. We need to do an oil change. In order to keep traveling and moving and driving, we have to do maintenance. And with animals and stuff, it's sometimes hard to take it to a place and it costs more money to do it that way. So we are going to do it ourselves today. I'm going to do it myself today and save some money. So I have the 2012 Mercedes 2500 and it takes approximately 13 quarts of oil. So it took me quite a few trips to different uh, auto part, part stores to find enough oil and to find all the supplies and uh, so we are going to do it today it's uh, a pretty decent day it's not windy right now and uh, it is sunny and it's supposed to get cold and windy so now is the time to do it all right so i have about 7500 miles on this oil change i usually do it around 7000 miles uh, they have the maintenance thing set at 10,000 miles, and I always do it earlier. One time I waited, and uh, the filter didn't look as good. It was like starting to get sucked in. So I don't want to wait, and I am on uh, dusty roads quite a bit, so uh, it can get dirtier faster. And then this past oil change, I actually hauled a trailer, and you know the van worked quite a bit, hauled lots of loads. So I want to change it earlier. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have a garage or a nice yard or anything like that. We are at the campsite, and I'm going to have to do it right here with what I have. All right, so we went and got supplies. Here is our oil drain pan with all the oil, the filter, and a filter wrench. So we have the Mobile One ESP formula. This is the 0W30. That is all I could find. There is also the 5W30. I usually like to use that one, but like I said, this is the only one that was available. And it took me multiple, multiple trips to shops to find enough. All right, so before we start, we're just kind of look around and look how nice and dry it is. There isn't any oil leaks. Remember uh, this past spring, I had oil coming down here from that part up above. It is stopped and it's all nice and clean and dry. Everything looks good. All right, the oil filter is right in here. And first I'm gonna go ahead and get this on there and just kind of break it loose, get it uh, loose enough that I can get it with my hand. on there. It took a little bit of doing to get it in there and adjusted to be tight. Uh, the handle is over here and I had to kind of have it diagonal. You know, it can go down or up like that. And you just need enough room to uh, be able to turn it to the left. Okay. So I have it enough where I should be able to get it with my hand. Yeah. Okay, yep, I'm turning it just a little bit. It's loose enough. Now we're going to go underneath. All right, we have our drain pan getting ready to take this plug loose here. It's a little bit, it's a little bit too tight. I have a small wrench here, as you can see, and I don't have a whole lot of leverage. Uh, definitely need a bigger one, but this is just all I had with me. I would have had to buy something else, but I'm going to have to find something to uh, break this loose and um, get more leverage. Okay, I got it loose. Don't laugh what I had to use, but I had to use a pot. Uh, the handle here is hollow on the end, and, um, you know, I was able to get it loose now, so now I'm going to get the drain pan back ready. Uh, also, I should be wearing gloves, and I forgot to buy gloves. And there's tons of bees, and they keep buzzing around, but, uh, yeah, when you're at... Come on, go away. 
when you're at a campsite and you don't have a whole lot of tools, uh, I saw that pan with that handle like that, and I thought, yeah, that, that might work, and it did. Um, so now we got it loose, we're going to get ready to drain the oil. Alright, we got the, drain, the cap off up here, and as soon as it drains all the way out, I'll take the filter out so I can throw it in there. I have a, I had to put a little plastic baggie over my hand so the drain plug is in this baggie, staying clean until I clean it off here at the end. Uh, and the copper washer is in there. Usually I buy a new one, but didn't remember to do that here. All right, I got the filter out. Um, I'll kind of inspect the filter and stuff. I need to change the little ring there, the little seal, and then the one up here. Uh, the filter isn't sucked in or anything like that, so that looks good. All right, I got the new ring there, the new filter, the new one up there at the top. Let's put the drain plug back in. All right, I put the drain plug back back in. The washer is there, and I'm going to dry it off, and I'm going to tighten it with the wrench before we get ready to add some oil. All right, we're going to put the filter back in. All right, we're going to put the filter back in. We'll hand tighten it down as much as we can. Alright. Okay. That should be good enough. And I'll kind of wipe that off. And uh, so when we start it later, we'll check for leaks. Alright, we got the oil filter as tight as I can get it by hand, and we're going to go ahead and start adding oil. Alright. Alright, so I have 12 quarts added now, and I'm going to wait just a little bit, and I'm going to check the level before I add any more, and uh, before I start it, I'm going to cycle the key a couple times to try to get the uh, oil and stuff through the engine a little bit before I start it. Alright, this is number 12 here. And here's an actual dipstick. It's a little bit hard to tell. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Um, check it, reset the computer, and yay, we're good for another 7,000 miles or so. I change it about every 7,000 miles. This time it was about 7,500 because uh, I did a little bit of extra driving and didn't expect to have to do it out here, but it cost me 
uh, $150, $160 to do it myself. And uh, it took about an hour to actually do the work. It took me more than an hour just to find the supplies. Uh, the oil is kind of hard to find, so that took me uh, four different places to get enough oil and to find the correct oil. But we did it, and uh, it's done, and we're ready to be back on the road. All right, I'm just finishing cleaning up. It actually had uh, 12 quarts of oil that came back out of the engine here. And I managed to get all the waste oil back into these little containers and I'll take them back to the store so they can recycle it. Made a little bit of a mess, but not too bad. Uh, overall, I did really well, not making a humongous mess at the campsite. All right, thanks for watching. Hope this helps some of you. If you need to do maintenance on the road, that it is possible and you can do it yourself. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already.